What's up? Scott Bravo. And this is episode six of Give Me a Minute. This week's genre is hip hop. Um, hip hop is probably my second favorite uh, form of music. Metal, obviously metal rock and roll being the first. Um, but I've had a long, long love affair uh, with hip hop. It started for me in fifth grade. Um, I went to the library looking for books and discovered tapes. And uh, the tape that I looked at was uh, LL Cool J, Walking with a Panther. I'd never in my life seen somebody dressed like that. Never. Um, and I was with a, with a, with a panther. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there was a lot going on on that cover. So I, I said, I gotta, I gotta hear this. Took it home. Loved it. First rap music I ever heard was LL Cool J. And, uh. When it was time to take it back to the library, I asked the lady, I said, do you have any more of this? And she goes, yeah. And that's when I discovered Public Enemy and um, the Fat Boys and Cool Moe D. Cool Moe D was the guy that I really, like his rapid fire sort of style really hooked me. Um, and Public Enemy, they were saying things that I, I that wasn't my world. I didn't understand um the gravity of what they were talking about. Uh, in my household, it was, you know, Conway Twitty and Glenn Campbell, Randy Travis. Uh, there was no, there was no fight to power. There was no, you know, any of that stuff. Um, but I really got into it and I, I wanted to explore more. This was a world I'd never seen or heard before. You know, I was a kid, I was fifth, sixth grade, you know? Um, so I kept getting into like more um, Eric B., KRS One, um, and then I, in ninety one, I discovered NWA, ninety one ninety two, and that changed that changed my life. That turned me that set me on the path of not just being a fan of the music, but of saying if this is what's going on, I want to be a, I want to be a part of this. I want to do I want to be the antidote to what is going on. Um, so that NWA changed my life in more ways than one. Um, my mother, on the other hand, <laughs> discovered that tape and probably within 10 seconds of listening to it, uh, put paper in the holes and recorded over it. And what she recorded was her saying, Scott, this is your mother, <laughs> right? So I knew who it was. Like, like there would be anyone else crazy enough to do some shit like this. This is not the type of music you should be listening to. And then just 25 minutes of just silence, right? <laughs> So I had to go get another NWA tape. Um, but then I got into, you know, more, more KRS-One, more Most Def. Um, and, and my favorite time period for rap is probably the 2000s. Nelly, T.I., um, the big timers. Fun. When rock and roll became like, ooh, then rap became the rock stars, right? They became the ones that started having the girls and the money and the cars. And that's when it, it became more fun, like rock and roll used to be. And so to me, that was, when I listen to rap now, um, still, like the, still like the old stuff, still love the public enemy, still love NWA, but now it's more like Tech 9 uh, MGK, uh, Yellow Wolf is cool, The Game. Um, Travis Barker has a great record that has a lot of uh, rappers on it. Cypress Hill, um, all, too many to name, too many to name. Um, so that's my contribution this week is a, is a hip hop beat with my widdly, widdly, widdly noodly business over it. And um, if you're not a fan of hip hop, if, if you think that hip hop is just what's out there now, go and you wanna be inspired, most deaf, public enemy, KRS-One, dig into their 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 catalog and go back and see what they were talking about ice t um go back and see where rap came from and started uh, and, and 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 was was meant to be about um it was a movement hip hop was a movement it wasn't just about entertainment they were they were saying really important stuff and i'd like to think that a lot of the early hip hop dudes really sort of propelled the movements that we see today, like like BLM, um, that they were sort of the first um, people bringing attention to these to these really serious issues. So hip hop is important, and it's fun, and it's beautiful, and it's very there's something for everybody, 
Um, if you don't like the singing and you want more like rap and you don't like the rap and you want more, whatever you like, um, it's there for you. So this week, give me a minute. Episode six, hip hop, Scott Bravo. Thanks for watching. <music>